Hi, welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Sam Basher. And I'm Trisha Hirschberger. Don't worry, everybody. America's here to save your Pop-Tarts. Over the past few years, kids playing with food has become a real problem. Or at least certain school administrations seem to think so. I'm talking Pop-Tarts, those delicious toaster pastries that are made out of just enough artificial ingredients to stay sturdy even when the structure's been compromised. I made a lightning bolt. Very nice. Now, the problem that schools and state legislation have had is not with Pop-Tarts themselves, but with Pop-Tarts made into the form of a gun, or anything made into the shape of a gun for that matter. The most famous case being the second grader in Maryland, Josh Welch, who was suspended back in 2013 for two days after he made a Pop-Tart gun. Josh did have a history of poor behavior before this incident, but his story became a symbol for gun rights activists, and he even received a lifetime membership to the NRA at age nine. That's crazy. I picture Josh like, uh, uh, thanks, NRA. Can I just go back to my Pop-Tarts now? After many other incidents like this occurred all over the country, many states began enacting Pop-Tart gun bills. These bills are structured to protect our children from unnecessary cruel punishments for playing with toy guns or pastries. Now, Texas lawmakers are currently working on their own Pop-Tart gun law, penned by Representative Ryan Julian, who stated, Texas students shouldn't lose instruction time for holding gun-shaped Pop-Tart snacks at school. Which makes sense. Kids play with food. Yes, but on the other hand, a large number of teachers have a problem with this, seeing that there were 13 school shootings within the first six weeks of 2014. Oh. 13 in six weeks. Policies have been put in place to help our teachers protect our students from future incidents. And protecting children in schools is 100% a necessity. And while yes, students missing days of school at a time for drawing a picture of a gun seems a little ridiculous, Texas Senator John Whitmire says he would shy away from placing restrictions on local school policies. He said, I believe strongly that common sense should be the guy. What do you guys think? Should Pop-Tart laws be put in place to protect our kids from pastry-hating teachers? Or do we need zero-tolerance policies to deter future outbursts of violence? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video. My name is Sam Basher. My name is Trisha Hirschberger, and this is so complicated because, I mean, are we protecting our kids from other kids, or are we protecting our kids from their teachers? Or are we protecting our kids from our teachers who are trying to protect them from the other kids? You decide. I don't know if you guys are doing anything at home to give you the feels for the holiday season, but we're collecting toys for Toys for Tots toys on for behalf tots. of you guys. So we're calling you to send us unwrapped toys some point over the next two weeks. And on December 18th, we're going to hopefully take a mother load of toys over to Toys for Tots on behalf of you. Just make sure to send it to our PO box, which is in the description, or it's right here. Make sure it goes to Attention Source Fed or we don't get it. And make sure not to wrap the presents first. We have to be able to see what the toy is to give it away to kids that don't have toys. Thank you.